Uh, friends, if you in this video, let me show you simple basic techniques to use the sum and the multiplication functions and uh, how to choose, do some tips and tricks. So, this is the amount and this is the VAT amount. And if you want to have actually what VAT amount, so you can do is it, sorry, if you go to this cell equals to this amount. And multiply will be a star sign by like this. So this is going to be a right amount. You should just pull down the angry left the cursor. And now if you want to find the total amount, you can do is this amount plus this amount will be your total amount. So here you can with the total amount but if you want to see a uh, total value of you can hit alt equal to if you hit small shortcut or sum alt equal to and hit enter but if you don't want to see this in this format you can just do is you can select it and make it into a percentage format or you can give a percentage from here also so you can see it's coming to five percent but if you don't, if you have a limitation of columns also, you don't want to see this column. And if you want to, if you think of removing this column, you will get an error because the data, the cells are different, are totally dependent on this, on the other column which has been deleted. So you can use something like you have to be equals to this value multiplied by so you multiply by five percent. So you can see the values here. So again, if you double click this, the answer is there. But again, if you will see that the VAT and this excess duties or some duties keep on changing, you don't want this. Uh, you want to be should, should, should be shown in some cells, so we can refer that also. So that can also be done. So it will be like you can keep a, a value over here. You can make this as five. And uh, repeat a percentage. This will be five percent. So it's five percent. So if you, see, if you want to do that in that also, you can do is equal to this amount multiplied multiplied by the value over here five again if you pull this down you get the different value but here I can see giving an error because the cell should be locked you can see it's going to F2 it's coming down so you should you should know how to use the cell reference so you should do what you do is equals to multiplied by the cell should be locked so you should hit f4 hit f4 now hit enter and now you can fill this down so these are simple tips and tricks in using excel formulas and here also you can change it if you want you can make this into six percent automatically the things keep on changing if you want to make it ten percent so here you have a free hand of using this. So I hope this small simple tips and tricks will make you understand the basic logics of Excel. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this link. So I think it's an easy one, but many beginners can understand this techniques and tips and tricks. And please refer to my other videos also. Thanks for watching.